Hello guys and girls, Domination Tips, welcome back to the next episode of Let's Farm. You can probably see over here I have some machine guns uh, trained and I did not use them before, never, at no time, some heavy machine guns. So Enlightenment HMAX troops and this is due to, this is due to um, a request of one of my subscribers below my last uh, German Let's Farm episode he, who asked me, uh, come on please, um, try to use your machine guns and show us. Um, there, is, there are two severe problems I'm anticipating by using these machine guns. The first problem is um, very based on the fact that I'm going for loot. Because if I'm going for loot in my Let's Play or Let's Farm episode, my intention is to find in the multiplayer very low and um, weak defended bases at a low metal count where I can get um, high loot by low defenses to don't lose um, that much troops. That's the first point, so that means that the enemy buildings are not that strong and my uh, ranged troops like artillery and British uh, marksmen are easily able to kill all of the defensive buildings. And that means that the base is getting crushed so fast that my little uh, f little and slow machine gun guys are not fast enough to uh, get to the front. They will just always run behind of my troops and not getting able to um, really do some damage in, in the attack. If you are attacking a really high base or probably in the world war, then they could be really helpful due to the fact that your troops get, get, um, get to stuck somewhere and not getting uh, across or through the enemy base that fast. But that's only the first point. The second point, uh, which is a really concern to me, is the fact that I'm just using a very special kind of army. All other guys uh, I, I've seen before and I'm currently seeing um, are using some tanks and I don't like these tanks. I only like some tanks if I get donated some French ones, which are really specific due to their values. And if you're using your tanks, you have some meat shields, some he has some tanks which are um, tanking the enemy damage, also especially from towers and from cannon towers. And so your machine guns uh, won't be the, cl the closest or your front units, which die really fast. And because of the fact that I'm not using trains, uh, trains, sorry, tanks, I'm a little bit confused, um, that I'm not using tanks at all in my farming episodes, my, my machine guns will be due to their little range of three only, the... Um, the most um, the troops which are running in front and so they will die very easily and very fast and with every troop I'm losing I lose four space or four to the troop space capacity and that's very severe damage to my army but let's see whether my anticipation it was right hmm only 130,000 let's skip no oil <laughs> very little gold that one is pretty good. Let's see from where to attack. There's also another really nice fact I want to share with you. But let's come to this later. Let's see how we can do over here. Because we have to scout or even to watch our um, machine guns, how they will do. Hopefully they will do good. And here's the first problem I mentioned, they will always be behind because the bases are so low that they can't get in front of. Oh, here the Gatling Gunner is doing very well, but only because of the fact that he's so low and nearly no uh, marksman close to him. If, if the um, Gatling guns over here are solo and uh, autonomous working, they are really good. Play, don't die plane, don't die. Oh no, one plane died. They used the most stupid way of attack they could use. Over here are no, no towers at all and they just fly over these towers and the castle. So I also have to rally my troops back due to the fact that I want to, to waste more time. Now I wasted enough time to not get the quick victory star, you see? And um, that's the other fact I want to mention to you be, uh, after this, this uh, attack. It's a little bit complex topic, but you can really easy use this um, to, to make your looting more efficient due to the fact that you can a little bit steer and control 
how many medals you will lose or even win when you are attacking and so you can more constantly and uh, longer stay in a specific medal area. Um, I will tell you later. Let's see. Here my Gatling guns. One is dead. Okay, one is dead. And that's exactly what I meant. They are the most front troops and so they will get all of the damage and die. I only have two of them. Oh, I only have one of them. Okay, all defensive buildings are gone. And that's what I meant it to you. Over here, you see, I on purpose wasted the quick star, with the quick star, uh, quick victory star, and also ended the battle before 100%. I only was focusing on getting all defensive buildings. That means only three instead of five stars, and at least only 10 medals. So I can control and steer that my medal count is not rising that fast. I uh, retrained my troops. It's a little bit laggy. I retrained my troops and I again will take these uh, machine guns with me, but um, currently they are quite not not that good that I wanted was that I want to take them with me again. Um, the metal dropping or metal rising topic I wanted to tell you. Ordinary, when you are farming on the multiplayer, you have um, at the one hand your World War constellation like I have, then you are metal count rising, or you have your radars with you, then you are lowering or dropping your metals out. Uh, it's very obvious that when you are attacking an enemy base like I do and this base is a little bit lower than or even more much lower than your troops are that means that it's, it is very easy for you to crash this base and it's also your target because when you have your walls war constellation with you it's not your target only to get some resources it's your target to um, kill the enemy base and get all of the resources probably you can really easily do this but at the uh, other hand you will really really fast increase your medal count because you will get five stars or even get four stars and that means you will get nearly the uh, maximum possible um, amount of stars from this base by uh, or from from medals by this base by getting that much stars but you can uh, easily control this uh, by ignoring some of the stars or avoiding to get them and that's uh, what I what I talked to you if you are going for a base like I do currently and if you are avoiding probably like it isn't uh, if it isn't base uh, like this one with an come on kill the, the catapult with an um, exposed town center now I was unable to to do this say so my, my troops got the quick victory but you can ordinary really rally your troops back very often to waste time and if you're wasting time they are not getting the quick victory that fast so you get only four stars and then you can look and let one of the or some of the buildings surviving in the end for example also don't kill the town center if it is possible which is a really hard task but at all you can just let one of the economic buildings um, survive in the end only kill all of the defensive uh, buildings to get your troops back and then you only have four, uh, one, one against um, one more star less than ordinary. So in total you can get about three stars if you are, have really luck and don't need to kill the town center. Then you can end up only with two stars, uh, getting all of your troops back and having all of the loot. I can now end up with four stars. When the stable is gone, I'm looking to the count over here. Yellow, yellow numbers, green numbers. Let's go. So you see. Green numbers means all of the defensive buildings were gone and I, then I instantly uh, exit this battle due to the fact that only two houses are staying and they are really rapidly done. Then I would have got five stars and too, much, uh, too many uh, medals. It's really hard for me to explain, so sorry guys for this complex team. Uh, hopefully uh, for this complex topic, hopefully you are understanding what I want to, to what I want to tell you. There's this uh, method is also working other way around because um, you also are very very fast dropping your medals when you are using some raiders. But if your intention is just not to get um, to uh, fall down that fast with your medals, you can also um, stop this by uh, attacking enemy bases and if the town center is exposed that's not all the time but if it is you can just in the end of the battle when you got all of the loot you um, you wanted to have then you can um, just 
deploy one of your infantrymen next to the town center, trigger the town center, put one of your troops, for example a um, marksman, at the other side of the base, get the attention of all of the enemy troops which are going for the uh, ranged infantrymen, and then you can deploy some more infantry guys to kill the town center. That in total makes you get one star, so at least a victory. You won't lose any medals, you will gain some medals. In total, so your medal count won't... Um, won't drop that fast and you can go or even loot more longer with your army constellation by not getting uh, too low with your metal count. <laughs> Here we have a perfect example. Really nice amount of gold, the food would be wasted, but also very okay oil, but the defensive structure is too strong. Uh, the mortars are too close together, I could um, just easily sabotage both of them. But here we have so strong buildings, also the um, sniper tower, that I would lose too much, to, uh, too many troops. Therefore, out of economic uh, reasons, efficiency reasons, I skipped him. Exactly same over here. Too strong to get an efficiency, a high efficiency by attacking the space. <laughs> And over here our patience is quite paying out, you see. Um, we have also two mortars very close together, but we can use our planes and we also will get 400,000 of loot, but by a very, very more easy base. I won't start from over here due to the fact that I don't want to get the quick victory star. I will start from over here. After this attack, I think I will uh, get rid of the machine guns. It, um, at least in my army constellation, they are not working that well. Therefore, I just can't use it. I can't use them. Very unuseful for my uh, for my purposes. I have over here. Now I will just rally my troops back. They are destroying the enemy base too fast, so I delay them by getting them back. Now I got them back. I wasted some time. So let's see, very perfect. I thought they would come from over the castle, that would be very ridiculous, uh, very horrible. But that uh, entrance, this way they, they took was really good. Oh, we have 45%, I really have, to, I again have to delay my troops. Otherwise I will get the quick victory star by 50%. 47. Oh, I think. Oh, no, I got the quick victory star. That's what I meant it. When enemy bases are way, way too, too weak, your troops, um, nevertheless, that you delay them, will uh, get the quick victory star. That was not my purpose. Uh, this method I'm quite currently using is just only, obviously, useful if you are not aiming for diamonds. If you have not full amount of diamonds like I have, then you can do this method, but if you are looking for some diamonds because you need them, then it's very helpful to uh, to aim for five stars and not uh, try to avoid them, because if you have five stars, you will very uh, sure get at least one or probably two diamonds, which is really helpful. So you have to decide for yourself: Do I want to get some more um, some more diamonds, or do I want to re uh, delay my metal my metal rising? I will again exit this battle before it's over. Green green numbers over here, so I can go now. All defensive buildings are gone, that means. If the numbers of troops is, um, is yellow, uh, there are some defensive buildings remaining. And if it gets green, you can go uh, without losing all of your troops. Here you see uh, capacity of diamonds is reached, so uh, getting four or five stars is quite useless for me now. Ah, come on. I got rid of the uh, of the retrained um, submachine gun. All of the others, I will uh, when I when I when they are dying, I won't retrain them. Hmm, very much oil. I could just take the space. Would be really okay. I have 1.5 million of gold and I upgraded already one piece of a wall, my 16th piece of a level 12 wall. So uh, it w currently or within my uh, actual training blessing I won't be able to get another piece of the wall so I also could go for oil. 
I'm nearly no uh, at no time going for oil, so I can just easy do it now. Because my generals are upgrading, I'm just focusing on uh, on Napoleon and MacArthur currently to upgrade them. The lazy troops don't get the quick victory, hopefully. Perfect entrance way. They did not hit that much uh, defensive buildings which, uh, which shot at them. Okay, 20 minutes more, 20 seconds more to go. Then the quick victory is done. Again, the lazy troops. Only eight, seven, six, six more seconds. Okay, so I think uh, I have very successfully uh, avoided getting the five, uh, the quick victory star. In total, we can get at three stars over here. So that means only three stars from. Uh, from possible five stars and only 20 divided by five multiplied by three means 12 medals. I will only gain 12 medals instead of 20 by this attack. Perfectly um, simple. Wow, why it is so laggy. Very often it's so awful laggy when the troops are shooting on the town center. You see, after shooting at the town center, it's quite okay again. Again, get rid of the tower. I can rally you. Oh no, they didn't. I lost an artillery. Thanks a lot. Okay, I think most of the defensive buildings now will go. Oh, very nice. One of the farms uh, survived over here. So I only have to rally my troops over here to get all of the defensive buildings. Oh, I have all of the defensive buildings. Very nice. And here we have only 12 from uh, 20 medals. Perfect. By the way, <laughs> I did a really ridiculous mistake during the last world war again. Before, in the, uh, in I think a former world war, I had the problem that I forgot to uh, deactivate my crappy base layout to surprise the enemy. And so I started in the world war with this crappy base layout. But in the last world war, I quite forgot about to do my uh, sect world war attack, which was really ridiculous. So I only uh, did one world war attack and the second one, when the world war ended, I recognized, oh, there was one more attack you had to do, <coughs> but I quite didn't, really pity. So this is quite okay. <coughs> so the machine guns are quite no uh, kind of troops I could use. All um, ordinary, I also would uh, would donate the troops uh, directly, but because my training blessing is running, I think is my training blessing running. Five minutes, yes, it seems like over here. Yes, we have the training blessing. Four minutes, so I think in four minutes also I will uh, end this video. It's a very short Let's Farm episode, nevertheless, but then I can just um, donate all of the uh, requested troops. We also have some players which are going for for medals. Zara tool and uh, Hadith. You see over here Hadith. Both of them were at 2,800 medals, uh, aiming for 2,000, 3,200, I think, to get to uh, for the latest or the highest league in dominations. But uh, Zara tool already, I think, um, ended this uh, this purpose. I think also his purpose was not to get to the highest league, also um, only to get the the crowns over here. I already did this. Where is it? Um, yes, over here. Honor honor medal. I don't know how, it's, how this uh, challenge is called. 
but it's about to get a specific amount of medals for some crowns, for very many crowns, 2,000, 1,000 and 2,000 you will get to give by uh, getting to 2,800 medals in total, I think. Hmm. Good base design indeed. This base design looks very, looks very similar to my, uh, to my Enlightenment Age base layout. It's really reminding me. Mm, quite no. Anzac Forces too, cool. So Ziggy's second alliance. By the way, I don't know whether Ziggy is the leader, but I know the uh, Ziggy, Ziggy domination is also another YouTuber is in Anzac Forces. 218,000. No. Let's go on. Oh. Ah, here we are. Now it paid out. 350,000 even without a British loot bonus. Really, again, an example of what I told you. Patience in uh, looting in the multiplayer really pays out. There's always one guy which uh, has more loot than the one you skipped before. Being too impatient uh, in opposite often is really bad. So let's see, two mortars very close together. Let's see whether this guy has uh, researched. Mortar hit point. No, he didn't. Two attacks, so in total uh, four attacks of my, my two planes. Crash, one mortar. Mm, I think I will rally them over here to slow them down. By the way, the next World War attack will be uh, released in, I don't know, one hour probably. We have 1820, so I think nearly one and a half hour when the next World War is starting. Oh, come on, where's my plane going? Wow, it nearly died. Horrible. Again, quick victory star is avoided. Very nice. Probably over here we can go for also... Look at it, really nice guys. Here are no defensive buildings, that means we don't have to come over here again. We can also... Uh, oh, we can try to go for only two stars. Now I didn't recognize the second, uh, the last mortar. But we can just try to let the town center survive and only kill all of the defensive buildings. That would mean only two stars, at least um, only two or five stars and only, I think, eight, eight or nine medals from uh, available 22. But there's also some loot. Where is the loot? Uh, I think over here in the uh, gold bunches from the caravans. Looks like a quite inactive player. Ah, now there will be also some gold in the town center, yes. This guy is inactive, that means some of his gold will be in the caravans, but also some of the gold will be in the uh, town center, yes. Yes, there we see, 70,000 gold remaining. Now I will just rally over here, get to the end of the battle and look at the gold amount over here. 70,000, 60, 40, 30 and go, 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 go. No, town center is done. That's quite due to the laggy, laggy game. I already pressed exit, but nothing happened. It's a pity, but okay. Uh, I also could show you my next World War opponent. It's again an atomic guy, but atomic is the only thing which is uh, staying at his base. His ba come on, his base is quite not atomic at all. My base is even more atomic than his one, I think. <laughs> Brazil Spartanos, so I think a quite obvious Brazilian alliance. Then we have this little uh, atom f uh, atomic factory over here. It looks like some kind of factory. Here we have Ranier Cules, Ranier Cules or something like this. Uh, level 9 walls, some level 11 gates, also level 14 gates, wow. Level 10 walls, <laughs> even one level 11 and one level 12. Uh, the sniper towers are, are placed 
I don't know. It's really crappy. They are not upgraded and they are very exposed. That makes me think to uh, attack from over here. I think I will attack from over here, but I have to pay attention. Uh, he's in Atomic Age, so he has quite access to the resistance chapter. And that means that um, one of his markets is upgraded, where we have the other markets. Second market is also fully upgraded in Atomic Age. And third market also. So he has very obviously um, a Global Age market. Sorry, these are all Global Age markets. So he has very obviously access to his library chapter of resistance uh, research. And resistance re research means that from his uh, factories will spawn MK tanks and from his mm, f mm, mercenary camp some flamperances. Now I'm just only thinking about whether to attack from over here to get rid from the sniper towers or whether to attack from over here to get rid from um, all of the three stables he has. But I think he's in the atomic age. I, ordinary he should have four stables but i think he has not built it it don't looks like he has the four atomic stables only three ones and by the way one global one industrial and one enlightenment <laughs> so not quite sure where i will rally also i'm not quite sure where the traps are placed over here can't be any traps so the traps will be outside i think I think the traps could be over here because it looks very attractive to attack from over here. I'm, I don't think that the traps will be here, here somewhere, or even here. Uh, therefore, I will attack from over here. Uh, wait until these buildings are crashed, then rally quite inside where the um, position of this, this uh, garrison is. I will place my sabotage over here. And then I have to see what my troops are doing. I also can place one sabotage over here. And then use my planes to get rid of the sniper towers. But I have to see. It's getting very interesting. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, five, uh, fifth world wonder. I have activated no offense collisions. Only uh, two defensive collisions. Due to the fact that I can just not see which troops this guy have built. Enemy number two as well as number one are both in atomic age so I have they have very severe firepower obviously and I'm a little bit uh, concerned about how they will do at our bases because with uh, 175 he has quite not upgraded his barracks so only uh, 140 I think 140 uh, uh, atomic troops uh, it would be really easy to crash our bases, therefore I activated some defensive coalitions. The training blessing is gone, let's do the last attack for this episode. My last bunker, oh no, my last bunker will be upgraded in one and a half days. And then I think I'll go for the next air defense probably. Pfft. No, come on please, one very attractive last one please. Don't need the food, please. Oh, really nice. Thank you, God. <laughs> God, I'm not believing in. This one is pretty, pretty awesome. We will get additional with uh, the 15% uh, British bonus. We will get about 60... 540,000 nearly. That's really nice. Again, patience with what is outpaying in this game. Or paying out. I don't think that outpaying is a real word in English. No, oh, I think this rally in uh, accelerated my troops. So the uh, quick victory will be very obvious and not any. I'm not um, able to avoid it. Yes, they are shooting at the town center and more than 40 seconds to go. This quick victory is done. Not so good of me. It's again really laggy, come on. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I could try these Gatling guns out again, but if I want to try them, I would have to um, to change my troop constellation. I would have to take uh, probably two tanks with me, but two tanks win means uh, two 
two troop space I have to waste for them and that means that uh, I have to change my complete troop constellation because 20, 20 of troops I have to change are very much and I think I will have to use uh, less less British marksmen and even one artillery less. That's quite not what I like. I really more prefer in World War attacks to get donated to really really nice global French tanks which have uh, awesome hit points and also awesome strength. My own tanks I'm quite not using that much. I think they are really... I don't know. I don't want to insult them. But I don't think that they are so helpful at all. Industrial tanks are not that strong. Uh, unspecific tanks. Br um, French or even Greeks are quite okay. Wow, 540,000. Perfect. Uh, so guys, really thank you for watching this episode. It was a really ple pleasure for me. If you have any more opinions, any more concerns, just put it down in the comment section. If you uh, want to do some more base reviews that I come and visit your alliance, visit and rate, comment your base. Just give me the name of your alliance, probably some medal count, glory count, how many members you have, some specific information that I can find you. Uh, also, we have another alliance. Machine 2 over here. Uh, one of my subscribers requested me to to come to this alliance and to raid his and uh, probably some more bases. But I don't even know who this guy was. And so if you are just watching this video, give me a little hint below in the comment section who you are. Probably Daddy P could be or even Eclectic. I think some of this, uh, one of this guy who was some the, uh, subscriber, but I don't know anymore. So when I know it, I will just not miss. Uh, and get to your base to re uh, yes to recommend or even to to rate so thank you for watching guys you will see us soon your domination tips